Hey guys, you're watching Zuman and Only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the second episode of The Long Dark. Uh, we had a pretty good first episode actually. We've uh, explored a lot of cabins. We're in Mystery Lake here. And uh, today I would really like to find a hatchet. A hatchet is sort of that base weapon, or, or well, yeah, weapon, the base tool uh, that really sort of gets you started uh, doing a lot of the stuff. You can break down a lot of units, then shells, makes fire making a lot easier. What is this, by the way? Is this a mirror or is it a turtle shell? <laughs> I don't know. I can't make up my mind. So, it's just after midday. We've got the rest of the afternoon to explore. I have explored all of the little cabins in this lake area. So we now need to sort of point the direction and, and sort of go. I think... Can I get through that way anywhere? I don't think I can. I think if I head around where I'm heading here and around to the right, uh, I don't think we'll go back to our starter cabin. Our starter cabin will be ahead of us, but then we'll turn right, I think. And there'll be a little route up there, from what I remember. This is also going to be the first episode where we're going to have to start thinking about eating and drinking. Last episode, we sort of didn't really need to worry because you start off the game with, uh, with full stats. Uh, but they're sort of diminishing now. And uh, we need to start managing our resources a little bit better. There's that wolf that we kept hearing last episode. I'm going to keep away from that. We're going to head around here to the right. I thought there was. So I've still, I've still got a little bit of map knowledge. I, I know Mystery Lake probably the best out of all of the areas um, that, I've, that I've played on. I know there's some areas now that I haven't played on at all. Um, but each one sort of gets progressively more difficult with progressively less resources. See how I slowed down then when the wind was blowing? The wind blows like straight at me and it slowed my character down. It's the same as walking uphill. If you walk uphill, you'll actually walk a lot slower. Um, especially between oh, between these rocks. The wind is really rushing through and pushing against our character, slowing us down. Okay. I would probably like to find some rabbits pretty soon as well. Now, Mystery Lake, talking about the, the map here, the location that we're in, uh, we've actually been to most of the like interior areas in this world, as well, or in this part of the map as well. Um, like, the starter home is, like, the uh, the main building, I suppose, of the area. You look at those fishing huts. There are some other hunting cabins and stuff sort of to spread around the area. What is that? Sort of spread around the area. Is that a backpack there? It looks like it. Um, but not too many, so it's going to be interesting from here where we find our cover. Okay, this is a natural way to make bandages. So I always like, I think you need three. So I always like to sort of keep three on me as an emergency. Rose hips are used. What is that? This story is not yet written. 125, 165. Ah, there we go. So it's uh, like those notes that you find. Those are like rocks with like quotes from um, backers. People that backed the game on Kickstarter when it was on Kickstarter there. I thought it was a backpack. I'm a little bit disappointed. Oh, look at that. There's a rope. And a rope there as well. <gasps> they don't, they're not usually down by default. Like you have to make, you have to find them yourself and like put them onto locations to be able to shortcut up and down places. I, do I want to go up there? Yeah, go on then. Why not? Let's climb up. If I can climb. I might be too heavy to climb. Yeah, rose hips. These are used for... Um, antibiotics, I think. Um, that's like a natural one, but I think we've got some antibiotics on us, so we don't need to worry too much about it. Can I climb? I can. Okay, let's go up here then. I don't know if I've ever been up here before. There's a lot of areas in all of the maps that, like, I've never been to, I've never touched. It could be for reasons that it was just out of my way on the playthroughs that I was in. It might have been because when I was playing it, there was a, a predator in the way, blocking that way, and I couldn't get past. So this is really interesting, like, finding all of these different routes. Here we can go. Okay, you good? Are we up? Can I let go? I'm good. What is the weight like? Alright, so I'm starting to actually... See how we started with 30 kilograms of weight and now we've gone down? 
That would be because I'm cold, or I'm hungry, or thirsty, or tired, and you lose, you lose, like, your strength. Like, like, like real life, you know, when you get tired, you're not quite as strong. Some good sticks up here, though. Let me grab those. Oh, I'm starting to yawn as well. I'm too encumbered to climb now. No! I'm just over. Okay, is there some stuff that we can drop? But I don't need two can openers, that's for sure. Um... I could probably eat or drink some stuff as well. Let's go into the drinks here. Let's get rid of some of these. I can definitely... It's probably a good idea to actually drink some of the um, worst conditioned ones. Get those out of the way. Uh, I can't remember what... Yes, that's right. Okay. Um, let me get something to eat. Let's uh, see a couple of these candy bars. These bad ones. Low condition ones. I'm actually, I'm actually uh, losing maximum weight faster than I'm eating. I don't need charcoal, I don't think. Uh, I probably don't need that much lighter fluid either. In fact, ah, I could combine them, can't I? Can I combine them? No, I think I need a jerry can to combine them. Okay, there's not actually that much in either of those two. I didn't think of that when I picked them up last episode. So we'll just keep the one that's got half a litre in it. Um, oh, in fact, I could probably... In fact, make it a little bit easier by going to our lantern and refueling it. Oh, it was already basically full. Okay, well, at least we've got a full lantern. That's very handy to, to know. Maybe up the top here is like a little lookout tower or something. That would be handy. What does the little weight symbol mean at the uh, bottom right of my screen? Am I already over encumbered again? Am I going to make it? Oh, please. Oh, please make it. I'm not going to make it. I'm going to fall. I need to go down. Can I get off on there? Oh, God. I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall. This might be the end, guys. We might be over on episode two. I'm still pretty high. Get down. Oh, maybe I didn't. Oh. Oh, I thought I thought when that hand at the bottom right ran out, I would have I would have fell. He would have let go, but uh, it doesn't turn out that he did. I'm too tired to climb. I'm really tired. Do we just set up here then? I think we're going to have to set up a little fire or something. Um, what? Yeah. Hmm. I didn't think of that. I didn't think that it would take. Oops. Uh, it would take that long to climb up or use up that much energy. To think straight. A little bit of a mistake. If I sleep an hour, how much tiredness does that give me back? I don't want to sleep for too long because I've got no fire going. It gave me a little bit. It's getting a little bit dark now. Let's pick that back up. Can I... And I'm still in the car. Okay, let's drop off. Let's get rid of those rocks. See, 19.46. I really just need to sleep the night. That's what I really need to do. Okay. Let's bring down some... Um, some uh, sticks while we're here. Try and get it as close to night time as possible. Oh. That's real windy. Yeah, we've got a blizzard going. Hopefully, maybe there's a little spot here that I can sort of hide behind that gets me out of... That gets me out of um, the wind. Looks like the wind is blowing straight towards me, though. I think this is going to be... Let's go by them trees and use that mountain as the cover. It's going to be hard to keep a fire lit. That's going to be my problem here. Okay, we've got the little shield. See that little shield at the top of the screen? It means we've got, like, wind cover. So I'm hoping I can make a fire here. Have we got anything better than a 75% chance? It doesn't look like it. Okay. 75% chance. Let's uh, let's give it a go. 
we've got a bedroll as well, so we can sleep here. If we can keep the fire going long enough, hopefully we can just sleep through the entire night and we can sleep away the blizzard, giving our tiredness back. Maybe climbing was a bad That's idea. Good. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these because uh, they just weigh the most. And they give a, a decent amount of heat and uh, time as well. Just really pumping up the heat output as well. Do we do a five hours? If we sleep, and hopefully that will pass the blizzard, and then we can do a little bit of exploration in the dark. Um, uh, 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 just find a group. So how, how long have we got? Five and a half hours. So if I do five hours, it's going to be night time now by the time we wake up. I wonder if sleeping saves the game as well. Oh, it does. Okay, sleeping saves the game as well. That's handy. Oh, no. The, um... The wind must... Oops. No, 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 I didn't want to do that. No, 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 no. I hit rest instead or sleep for an hour. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, pick it up. I've got sleep. I can't believe I slept for an extra hour. Ah, poo. So I woke up because I was too cold because the fire went out. The blizzard must have put it out. Wait. I'm so cold. Okay, we're going to have to uh, start another one. He's complaining about how cold he is. I don't blame you, mate. Hopefully, we can get this going again. Another 75% chance. Really should uh, try and find some accelerant or something. No, it didn't Are work. Are you serious? Are you serious? I know. 75% chance. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> he says exactly what I would say. Okay. Okay, we got it. Fire's life out here. Fire is indeed life. Okay, get that going again. Get our temperature back up. What is our capacity? Okay, our current capacity is back up to 30 again. So we're good as far as that's concerned. I could probably pick up some stuff again. Like I could pick up those lantern fields. So cold. I don't think I need the charcoal. Just though. Lay down Other things about the charcoal. Oh, that's the kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he's cold. Let's just stand here. The fire's at 20 degrees Celsius. That's a decent amount. Um, how much water do I have on me? I think we start off... Yeah, we start off with uh, 50 litres, which is very handy. Do we start off with a, t a can? Oh, we don't have a can, though. We just got the, the bottle. Oh, no, we do have a can. Okay, so we can uh, melt some more, more water if we wanted to. Right, let's do that. Got a couple of cans on us, apparently. So let's. Uh, we might as well just melt up half a liter. There it is over there. And it says 18 minutes until melted, so we shall pass the time. And then we need to boil it. It's, it's now water, but it's unsafe to drink, so we'll pass the time until we've boiled it. And now, yeah, we can either take it or drink it. In fact, I could probably drink it. Let's drink it. Let's we'll check the status there. We're slowly heating up. I'd like to get this fire a little bit hotter. I'm really trying to boost up the temperature here. Go up to 28 degrees. 3 hours 38 minutes remaining. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to put all those on there as well. 5 hours of, of heat. Hopefully this time. Now the blizzard stops. 38 degrees temperature. I think it's probably a smart idea to uh, to have another little lap. Now, if we do four hours, we should be okay. Let's pick up that pot again. So we don't end up leaving it here. Healed hypothermia risk. We'll sleep for four hours. Oh, I picked, a <laughs> I picked up the bed. Wrong one. There we go. Hopefully the fire should still be going now when we wake up. Hopefully. There shouldn't be any reason for why it should be why it should have gone out now. Yeah, it's still going. One hour, thirty-four minutes remaining. I could 
probably sleep another hour. Okay, I don't really want to leave this area until it's daytime, really. Um, the sun, as you can see on the little indicator in the top right corner, is about to come up. There's an hour left. Let's do one more. Sleep. And hopefully it's bright enough and not cold enough. What is the temperature? Feels It feels like 21 degrees, yeah, because I'm standing by a fire. Uh, oh, achievement unlocked. Oh, yeah, because I haven't got this game on. Or this is like the first time we've actually played this game on PC. I will be uh, unlocking the achievements for the first times again. What if I go away from the fire? What does it feel like now over here? Minus 22. Yeah, that's why I need the sun out. It's, it, the sun is is rising. I'm sure there's a way I can just pass time without the bed. Unless I do need the bed just to pass time. Can I get this just to... Yeah, just to pass an hour. How tired am I? I'm not very tired. I could probably just pass time for an hour. Okay, I tell you what I should have done. That was silly. I shouldn't have passed time. I should have used that time to um, sew up some of my stuff. That was silly. Okay, so we're going to instantly kill ourselves by, again, trying to climb up this rope. Look how quickly that makes our tiredness go down. Oh my god, that is crazy. That is unbelievable. But at least we're going to make it up here this time. Okay, we're good. You made it, buddy. No. Ooh, rabbits. Oh, did I just put... My, I, I, I put all my rocks down at the bottom of the... <gasps> a cave! I don't think I... Uh, I think I got rid of all my rocks, didn't I? Yeah. I got no rocks here. We do need to think about starting to pick up more sticks and stuff for... The next night though because we actually went through really too much fuel because we were outside aha, some rocks because we were outside we actually um, uh, had to use more fuel to keep the fire going okay let's see if we can get a rabbit here so with rabbits you want to sort of get straight quite close to them and then you got to sneak down now, it's really hard to hit a moving rabbit, so you really want to wait until they stop. But you don't want them to be too close, otherwise they'll run away. Bang! Oh, I got him! <laughs> Pick him up. If you're squeamish, I would uh, I would look away now, guys. Oh, it's so sad! Oh, what a horrible sound. Look at these little bunny prints. But, we now have some meat on us. Very, very handy. There's another stick over there. I'm not going to miss him. We need to make sure we pick them up. 21 kilograms. It's not too bad. Okay, what's in this cave then? <gasps> man, man, if we just got up that rope before that night finished, not only would we have already have had a fire here, we would have had resources, we would have been out of the wind more. This, if we just needed to make it up that rope, man, that would have been so much better. I could use this. There's another gun book. One of 25 hours. You don't hardly ever get a book like that big. Usually like five hours, but 25 hours of reading? Crazy. What have you got, buddy? Oh, rifle cartridge. And a stick. Anything else in here? Does it go any further? It doesn't look like it. Pretty deep little cave in there, though. Okay, that's a cave to uh, to remember. If we're ever in this area again, if we can get here, that's going to be a, a lifesaver. Very much so. Do we try to get another rabbit while we're here? While I've got the inventory space. Oh, he stopped. Oh, he started moving. I missed it. Missed me chance. 
I got really lucky hitting it the first time. I find hunting uh, rabbits with rocks really, really hard. Really, really hard. Move it up around here. Don't scare him off. You sort of want to hit him on the side because it gives you like a bigger window to be able to hit him. He's turned around. Go. Oh, I got hit. Oh, I'm getting good at this. Um. Yep. Ugh, that makes me feel sick. Has to be done. It's our survival at the end of the day. Where did that rock go as well? How many rocks have I got on me? The one. I want my rock back. Probably rolled somewhere. Ooh. I thought I could hear them. Yeah, he's he's proper frozen. There ain't no meat on that thing. It's half buried. There ain't no feathers. Oh, there is. I was going to say. There's usually feathers about. We could use the uh, feathers to make arrows eventually. I've never actually used a bow and arrow in the game, so I, I can't tell you if it's like worth making or not. But uh, Looks like a new day is dawning. Looks like a new day is dawning indeed. But uh, it's definitely a goal that we should head towards, is, uh, is making a bow and arrow. I want to do things that I haven't done before uh, in this series, so it's going to be really interesting. I hear more wolves. Now I need to try and get down at this down off this hill without uh, without breaking my legs or anything. So I need to be a little bit careful of where we're walking, where we're treading. Oh, that's a little bit steep. Ooh. Let's go into that rock. Yeah. Oh, I know where we are. That's our beginner's hut. Yeah, yeah, that's where we started last episode. Okay. Gently down here. Okay, I've got me bearings then. I, uh, I've made a mistake. There's no jump button, so I, unless I can get up here. Oh, I can. Okay, good. Some more crows over there. I think I'll probably end up hurting myself if I fell down that little drop there. I think the amount of distance that you can fall is um, uh, can, is correspondent to how much weight you're carrying as well. So if you've got if you've got like 30 kilograms worth of stuff on you, you can't fall as far because you'll injure yourself easier. Man, how am I going to get out from here? I'm going to have to try. Try. And, uh, okay, that's good. Very, very carefully. He still complained when he hit the floor then. Trail boots. Okay, maybe this is then uh, a good omen to not only uh, sort of finish off the episode, I'm going to head inside this building and we're going to drop off some stuff. We know where this place is. I can usually find this area quite easily because it's right by a railway track. So we can usually come back here uh, quite well. And if we, uh, I don't know, find a little spot down here... I can drop off some stuff that we don't need, at least not at the moment. So, like, I definitely don't need two pairs of these boots, do I? So, let's drop one of them. Hmm, those boots are probably overall better now as well. Okay, we're going to wear those, and I'm going to drop those. I've only got one pair of socks. I haven't got any spare clothes that I can drop. Oh, yeah, I do. I have this, this couple of hats, don't we? Drop that. And I don't think I need a baseball cap either. So we'll get rid of that. Uh, accelerant. When did I get that? Or did it start me with that and I haven't noticed when I tried to make them fires? Oh, I bet I didn't even notice it. Okay, anything in here that we don't need right now? I mean, matches. I don't need that many matches, but they don't weigh really anything. So I don't really need to think about dropping them. Um, maybe I can get rid of a little bit of um, antiseptic here. You know, they weigh, you know, half a kilogram on it, on their own, so. Get rid of them. All the, all the clothes are wearing, so I'm keeping that. Um, maybe I should drop off a rabbit. Man, that's a huge rabbit. 2.43 kilograms. Are you kidding me? That's the biggest rabbit I've ever seen. Whee! <laughs> Whee! That's... Oh, oh, it's 1.4 kilograms worth of meat, though. I don't have a knife or anything, so it's going to take me actually 43 minutes to get the meat off this thing. Uh, guts we use for bows. Uh, I don't think I need the hide because we're not making, we're not thinking about making any armor yet. But I will take the gut because we'll use that to make a bowstring eventually. 
And the way that you do that, that first of many, the way that we do that is you actually have to drop the uh, gut on the floor. So at the moment, it's fresh gut. We drop it on the floor and eventually it'll dry up. And um, yeah, and cure, like 1% cured. Just move position a little bit. Five bandages on me. 50 kilograms total. 0.10 each. The the um, the um weight of them uh, stacks. So if you've got five of them and it's 50 kilograms, you know that they're 0.1 each. It's just handy to know. Um, I probably don't need all the cloth on me either. Um, actually, they're quite handy to repair stuff with. If I've got five bandages, I certainly don't need those on me. Just move out of the way. If you stack everything on top of each other, it makes it very difficult to uh, <laughs> know what you where, where you're you're going. Drop, drop. I certainly don't need three sewing kits on me. Although they don't weigh they, m that much, they do weigh a little bit. So get rid of a can as well. Not often that we're going to need more than one can. Um. Oh yeah, the rest of that bunny, because it's the hide, I could get rid of just the rest of the bunny here. We'll put like a little bin spot here. Drop. And I could harvest that one up. I could leave it on me. I don't know what really the benefit is, to be honest, of, of harvesting it now or later. Maybe we should harvest it when we've got more time. Because at the end of the day, we're still sort of wasting time here. We're down to 22.83 kilograms, and I think that's about... Our sort of carry at the moment. That's where we're going to sort of be sitting. All right, guys. I'm going to leave it there. I'm just going to head out of the building and then back into the building to uh, to save. And, uh, yeah. I can't wait for the next episode. I love this series. As long as we can survive seven days, which is our goal, then I'm good. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. Bye!